The truth about success is that it is subjective. You have your own image, your own idea of what it looks like. You have your ideals and other people in this world have a completely different idea about what being successful means to them. So if you want to achieve a high level of performance, if you want fulfillment, if you want happiness, then you're going to have to get clarity first about what is truly meaningful and fulfilling to you. Because so many times we just use placeholders. We just have a rough or vague idea about what we should achieve based off of the impression that we have of other people that are known to be successful and thriving. We form this image in our mind and then spend our life chasing after it, but it's meaningless, it's pointless, and when you do achieve it, it actually hurts. I remember when I finally made enough money to buy my dream car, a Porsche 911, and I realized that I didn't want the car at all, and actually it was just a weird boyhood fantasy that was there and driving me to succeed, right? To make more money, to impact more people so that I could have this object, the status symbol to show everybody how great I was. It was a flaw on the inside. It was insecurity. And when I came to terms with that and really realized that all of a sudden my perspective shifted and the object wasn't desirable. What I thought would be success for me ended up being almost like failure. It didn't feel fulfilling. It didn't feel good. It felt empty. Now, I'm sure that you've experienced this either with a much smaller object or a materialistic goal, or maybe with something much more grandiose. Maybe you finally got the house that you always dreamt of, or maybe you just got the phone or watch that you always wanted. It's not fulfilling. It doesn't last. It doesn't keep you motivated because it's not supposed to, it was never meant to. We've just been sold this dream, this fake vision of what we should be, and you have to develop it from the inside. You have to do the inner work, which starts by asking yourself, what would be truly meaningful for me? What do I genuinely have a passion for? What kind of impact do I wanna make in this world? What type of person do I want to be and this shifts your reality drastically and maybe you've even done this before but sometimes you just have to readjust and you have to realign and remember that hey you have infinite potential you have all this energy inside of you it's probably laying dormant because well there's nothing driving it. There's nothing pulling it out of you. You're pushing yourself to do the right things so that you can have the things that you think you want instead of being happy, generating that energy from the inside, and then the action and the work, right? Pretty much feeling effortless. I want you to have a great experience on the way to your goals on the mission itself. Not once you're there, you're happy and you feel fulfilled. And you know this if you've listened to me for any extended amount of time. So please take a moment to really ask yourself what means a lot to me? What is meaningful to me? What do I really, really, really want? And what is true success? And what is the truth about success? for me today because it will change, you will grow. And I'd sure hope so, because if you just stay the same with the same goals for the rest of your life, well, that could be a good way to stay focused, but it's also a great way to box yourself into one little tiny idea instead of allowing yourself to expand. The world is growing, everything is growing and expanding and changing. And so sort of holding on to something outdated and old just because you committed to it before isn't always the best idea. Yes, you need to be consistent. Yes, you have to be committed, but it's not always the only thing that matters. Other things that you have to consider are, have my interests changed? Have I become a different kind of person? Are my values different from what they were before? Have they shifted at all? And chances are in the last two, three, four, five years, they have. And if they haven't, you probably haven't been working very hard on yourself. And that's not to make you feel guilty, but rather to expose the fact that you might want to just dig a little bit deeper, sit down with a journal, ask yourself, who am I today? And who do I want to be five, 10 years from now? What's my vision for my future character? This is much more important than anything that you can achieve because if you're the person that you want to be, you'll feel a healthy sense of pride, self-belief and confidence. You'll be able to impact the world more positively because you 
have a firm foundation. And everything good, everything beautiful, everything strong and powerful, it comes from that. It doesn't get built on this flimsy little block of you saying to yourself that you want to achieve this cool thing. Because once you do, you're empty again and again and again, and the spiral never ends. So end it today by having clarity, by knowing the truth about success for yourself. The danger comes from trying to form a vision based off of other people's opinions and ideas about what you should achieve during your lifetime. But your time is running out and if you're not following your own core values, if you haven't developed clarity around what you really want, then as many years as you live, it'll be a painful and somewhat unfulfilling existence. You won't really, really have that spark and that light in the eye that says, hey, I'm here to really make an impact and a difference and I care about what I do and I'm invested and I'm passionate about every single action that I'm taking towards that. Light yourself up, take responsibility and watch your energy shift up about 10 levels and watch your enthusiasm grow, which makes doing what you need to do so much easier. Also, if you want help making things even easier, then go over to eraphael.com and you can book yourself a call with me to see if you're a good fit for my flagship program. That way you can have direct one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Also be part of an amazing community. I'd love to see you there. Again, if you wanna see if you're the right fit, eraphael.com and you can book yourself a call right there. I hope that you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you on the next one.